why you should create a vision board for yourself. So I know vision boards, lots of people talk about them. You either kind of love them or hate them. And some people they just don't work for, which I 100% I get. But I am a very visual person. I've always been creative. I've always liked having pictures for motivation and like seeing things in front of me to really keep me motivated. So I've done a vision board and we've done vision boards as a team for really the last few years. Being arts and crafty, but whatever, I sort of take it to the next level. So this was kind of my few years ago vision board. Two years ago, which I sort of added to, I started adding sticky notes because I found sticky notes were helpful for me if I achieved something or if I had specific goals, I would write on a sticky note, I could move it around, I could modify it as I went. So I found that very, very helpful. This was my 2023 vision board. Again, a little bit more specific with some breakdowns, with some actual numbers. And I keep this on my desk. So this sits in front of me and I have to look at it every day. And we also work with our team and we review our vision boards together. If they're all in front of us, we keep each other accountable. It's super easy to go to my vision board or go to go to someone else's vision board and be like, hey, I see that on there. I either want to help you with that or how is that going? Or have you achieved it? Have you, have you set timelines? So it's visual, visually great for me and also for others to be able to support me and vice versa. And we've also done one as our, for our business. So we really took the sticky note idea and ran with it. So this was our company vision board where we all took turns writing ideas. We put sticky notes up on the board. And what we've done with this to make it super tangible for us is when we are working on something, we, let's say we take one off and we put it on our schedule for the week. So we know like we're focused on this. This is our big kind of thing for the week. And we're gonna do whatever we can to really dive deep and set timelines and make them happen. Otherwise they just sort of, they sit and they get stale and it's easy to forget. So then, whoops. So when things are done, we put them in these little frames and we hang them up and we make sure we celebrate them because then they feel a lot more exciting and you look forward to that action of, hey, this is done. This is off my books. This is, I've achieved this and now I can move forward with the next one. I highly recommend it, whether it's something as maybe crazy as this, call it what it is, but look through some magazines, print your pictures, write it down, however it's gonna work for you. It may be on the computer, it may be more words, it may be more pictures, but it has to click with you, otherwise it's not gonna work for you. So do what motivates you, but make sure you do it.